Hi and welcome to the session. I am Asha and I am going to help you with the following question which says In each of the following, determine whether the statement is true or false. If it is true, prove it and if it is false, give an example. So the first one is, if X belongs to A and A belongs to B, then X belongs to B. So this given statement is false. Since, if A is any set having elements X and Y and B is a set having elements Z and XY, then from here we find that A belongs to B but X do not belong to B. But here it is given that if X belongs to A and A belongs to B, then X belongs to B. But here we have X belongs to A and A belongs to B, but still X do not belong to B. So this contradicts the given statement and hence the statement is false. So it completes the first part. And now proceeding on to the second part. Where we have, if A is contained in B and B belongs to C, then A belongs to C. This statement is false. And let us take one example to show that. Let A be any set having element A and B be a set having elements A, B and C and C be a set having elements D and the set A, B, C. Then from here we find that A is a subset of B. And B, which of the set having elements A, B, C, belongs to C, but the element A do not belong to the set C, that is A do not belong to C. So this contradicts the given statement that if A is the subset of B and B belongs to C, then A belongs to C. So the given statement is false. Let us now proceed on to the third part which says if A is a subset of B and B is a subset of C, then a is a subset of C. This statement is true. And let us prove it. So, let X be any element which belongs to A. Now since A is a subset of B, so all the elements which belong to A will belong to B. So this implies that X belongs to B. And again, since B is a subset of C, so all those elements which belong to B must belong to set C also. So this implies X belongs to C. Fine. So X is an arbitrary element of set A. So this implies all the elements which are in set A must belong to set C, which implies A is a subset of C. And thus the given statement is true. So this completes the third part. And now proceeding on to the fourth part. Which says, if A is not a subset of B. And B is not a subset of C. Then A is also not subset of C. 
So this statement is false. And let us take one example to prove it. Let A be a set having elements 1 and 2. B be a set having elements 3 and 4. And C be a set having elements 1, 2 and 3. Now from here we can see that 1 and 2 do not belong to B. Hence, A is not a subset of B. And 4 do not belong to set C. Therefore, B is also not a subset of C. But, the elements of A, which are 1 and 2, belong to the set C. This implies, A is a subset of C. And we are given that, if A is not a subset of B, and B is not a subset of C, then A is not a subset of C, which contradicts the example, and hence the given statement is false. And now proceeding on to the fifth part, which says, if X belongs to A, and A is not a subset of B, then X belongs to B. So this statement is false. And let us take one example to prove it. Let A be any set having elements X and Y and B be a set having elements Y and Z. Now X belong to A and on observing we find that elements of A are X and Y and elements of set B are Y and Z. So this implies A is not a subset of B. Thus X belong to B is not true. Hence the given statement is false. So this completes the fifth part. And now proceeding on to the last part, which says, if A is a subset of B, and X is an element which do not belong to B, then X do not belong to A. So, this statement is true since A is a subset of B implies that all elements of A belong to B also. Thus, for any arbitrary y belonging to B, we must have y belonging to A. And the element which do not belong to B can never belong to a subset A. So, if x do not belong to B, then this implies x do not belong to A also. And hence, the given statement is true. So this completes the last part and ends the session. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care and have a good day.